Okay. After last night's episode of me blowing my serpentine belt, I went and bought one at our friendly local Napa for forty dollars. Now let's see if I've got the wrenches out here to do the job. Now that we have our wrenches, a 16 millimeter Craftsman box end wrench and a 15 millimeter Craftsman box end wrench, it is time to get started. The 16 millimeter wrench goes on the actual idler pulley itself. And then you take your other wrench and you do an old mechanics trick which is hard to figure out some days but it, you put your wrench in like this and you twist it up and then you push down so you have leverage on the idler and now since we've got that figured out and our wrenches let's put our belt on okay as you can see now I've got my Sembertine on and it's correct the belt's in the grooves on the pulleys Everything's correct. Now the only thing that I got to do is tighten up my fan bolts to the water pump pulley because those came loose yesterday when the belt came off. So let's do that. To tighten your water pulley studs or nuts or whatever, I am using a gear wrench, 13 millimeter box end wrench with a ratcheting end and then a regular end. And all you do is you come down here and you get on here like just like that. And you just, you don't want them killing tight. You just want it fairly snug enough so that you can, as you're tightening, maybe turn the pulley a little bit. That's all I did as I was tightening. I tightened each one down by hand and then I got a wrench on it and I turned it each one a little past the turning of the pulley. Now time for the moment of truth. Hey, hey, no warning lights. Looks like we're doing pretty good. See how the belt's running. 